suppose that the two dimensional the two dimensional suppose that the two dimensional random variables random variables x and y have have the joint pdf joint probability density function f of x comma y which is equal to x plus y 0 less than x less than 1 0 less than y less than 1 0 otherwise so f of x comma y values are two values okay so obtain obtain the correlation coefficient correlation coefficient correlation coefficient second one check whether x and y are check whether x and y are independent x and y are independent so this are the question so answer is so here we have to prove here we have to prove so first one correlation coefficient what is correlation coefficient correlation correlation coefficient is correlation coefficient is r x y which is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x sigma y okay so what is covariance of x comma y covariance of x comma y which is equal to e of x y minus expectation of x expectation of y this is the formula to find the correlation coefficient next x and y are independent if covariance of x comma y is equal to 0 means x and y are independent are independent which is not is equal to 0 x and y are not independent x and y are not independent covariance of x comma y is not is equal to 0 means x and y are not independent let us see how to solve this problem so first one so f of x comma y is given right so first one is the marginal what is given so given f of x comma y is equal to x plus y okay 0 less than x less than 1 0 less than y less than 1 0 otherwise this is given so first you have to find the marginal the marginal density the marginal density function of x is fx of x or f of x which is equal to integral 0 to 1 f of x comma y into dy f of x comma y into dy so what is f of x comma y that is x plus y so therefore which is equal to integral 0 to 1 f of x comma y is x plus y into dy which is equal to with respect to y you have to integrate so x y plus y square by 2 0 to 1 which is equal to for y you have to apply 1 so which is equal to 
x plus 1 by 2. So, f of x is equal to x plus 1 by 2. Okay. So, next you have to find the marginal density function of y. So, the marginal marginal density function of density function of y is f y of y so f y of y or f of y which is equal to integral over the limit 0 to 1 f of x comma y into dx which is equal to integral 0 to 1 x plus y into dx with respect to x you have to integrate x square by 2 plus xy 0 to 1 so which is equal to okay so y plus for x you have to apply 1 y plus 1 by 2 this is f of y so f of y is equal to y plus 1 by 2 so next you have to find that okay so correlation coefficient you know the formula covariance so e of x is very important expectation of x so what needs to the formula we have to find so integral 0 to 1 x into f of x into dx this is the formula to find expectation of x which is equal to integral 0 to 1 x what is f of x x plus 1 by 2 into dx so now you have to multiply with okay so x into x plus 1 by 2 can be written as integral 0 to 1 x square plus x by 2 into dx you have to multiply so after that you have to integrate now x square if you are integrating x cube by 3 x by 2 if you are integrating x square by 4 0 to 1 which is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 if you are taking LCM 7 by 12 okay so e of x is equal to 7 by 12 in this way you have to find e of y which is equal to integral over the limit 0 to 1 y into f of y into dy which is equal to integral 0 to 1 y y plus 1 by 2 into dy y plus 1 by 2 into dy which is equal to y square plus y by 2 into dy if you are integrating this y square will be y cube by 3 plus y will be y square by 2 already is there is a 2 so y square by 4 so answer is expectation of y is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 if you are taking LCM 4 plus 3 divided by 12 which is equal to 7 by 12 so e of x is 7 by 12 e of y is 7 by 12 next you go to find e of x square e of y square ok so let us find e of x square so expectation of x square is e of x square so expectation of x square is equal to integral x square f of x f of x into dx so integral x square f of x into dx so therefore what is f of x which is equal to integral 0 to 1 x square f of x is x plus 1 by 2 into dx if you are multiplying integral 0 to 1 x cube plus x square by 2 into dx x cube plus x square by 2 which is equal to x cube if you are integrating x power 4 by 4 plus x square if you are integrating x cube by 3 already there is 2 so x cube by 6 0 to 1 which is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 which is equal to 6 plus 4 divided by 24 which is equal to 10 divided by 24 which is equal to 5 divided by 12 so e of x square is 
5 divided by 12. In this way, you have to find E of y square. So, E of y square is equal to expectation of y square, which is equal to integral y square f of y dy, which is equal to integral 0 to 1 y square y plus 1 by 2 into dy. So, which is equal to 0 to 1 y cube plus y square by 2 into dy. So, if you are integrating y power 4 by 4 plus y cube divided by 6, 0 to 1, the limit is, which is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6, which is equal to 5 by 12, because already we have studied. So, 5 by 12. E of y square is also 5 by 12. Next, you have to find E of xy. So, therefore, E of xy is equal to so, E of expectation of x, y, which is equal to. So, that is the formula. x, y will be there means double integral. x as well as y. 0 to 1, 0 to 1. x, y, f of x, y into dx into dy. So, therefore, f of x, y is equal to integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 xy x plus y into dx into dy so therefore which is equal to integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 x square y plus x y square into dx into dy so first you have to integrate it integral 0 to 1 x cube div y divided by 3 plus x square y square divided by 2 the limit is 0 to 1. For x you go to apply 1. For x you go to apply 1. So if you apply 1 for x which is equal to so 1 by 3. So integral 0 to 1 y by 3 plus y square by 2 into dy. Again you go to integrate which is equal to y square by 6 plus y cube by 6. So, 0 to 1, which is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6, which is equal to 2 by 6, which is equal to 1 by 3. So, E of expectation of x, y, which is equal to 1 by 3. So, everything we have got the value. So, that is why we have to find variance of x. So, variance of x is equal to so let us see how to find the variance of x. So variance of x is equal to variance of x is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square. So what is e of x square? That is 5 by 12 minus 11 by 12 7 not 11 7 by 12 whole square which is equal to 5 by 12 minus 49 divided by 144. If we are taking LCM which is equal to 12 tolls are so 60 minus 49 divided by 144 is equal to 11 divided by 144. 11 divided by 144. So therefore sigma x is equal to square root of variance of x which is equal to square root of 11 divided by 144 which is equal to root 11 divided by 12 which is equal to sigma x. So sigma x value we have got. So after that sigma y. So for sigma y variance of y is equal to e of y square minus e of y whole square the same value you will get I think so variance of y which is equal to right the same answer so square root of 11 divided by 12 sigma y root 11 divided by 12 next you have to find covariance of x comma y next you have to find covariance of so covariance of x comma y which is equal to 
e of x y minus e of x into e of y. Okay, so therefore e of x y is equal to one by three minus e of x is seven by twelve into seven by twelve. So therefore, which is equal to if you simplify it one by three minus forty nine nine divided by hundred and forty four. Which is equal to so forty eight minus forty nine divided by hundred and forty four. We are taking LCM, which is equal to minus one divided by hundred and forty four. What is this one? Covariance of x comma y. So covariance of x comma y is equal to minus one divided by hundred and forty four. So what about covariance of x comma y? Covariance of x comma y. Is not is equal to zero. Therefore, we will have the conclusion x and y are not independent. X and y are not independent. Okay. So therefore, finally, you have to find the value of right correlation. So everything we have got. Only we have to find the correlation. So correlation coefficient. R x y which is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x sigma y standard deviation which is equal to minus one divided by hundred and forty four whole divided by square root of eleven divided by twelve square root of eleven divided by twelve okay so which is equal to minus one divided by hundred and forty four Into 144 divided by 11, which is equal to minus 1 by 11. So R value, which is equal to R value, which is equal to minus 1 by 11. This is correlation coefficient.